Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to go over all of my favorite nude lip products from my collection. This was incredibly difficult for me because I have acquired so many that it was hard. Like I had, I got all of them out and I was like, oh, I love all these. And then I looked at it, I was like, this is so much. So I had to take some out and compress and just make it smaller. And I still feel like I have a ton, but I just, I can't take any of these out. Like they all have to be here. So I'm gonna go in sections. I'm gonna start off with lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, glosses, and my lip pencils. And I will have swatches at the end of each little segment in natural lighting for you guys. I'm gonna start off with lipsticks and the ones that I consider to be a little bit more on the peachy side. This is Tom Ford Sable Smoke. You guys have heard this a million times on my channel. This is how much I have left. <laughs> I love this lipstick so much. The texture, everything on it is so creamy. Feels nice on the lips. And it is a nice peachy tone. It has pigment to it without it being too much. If I wear a liner with this, it looks more impactful. But then by itself, it looks like a nice, not wash of color, but enough to be able to see it without it being too much. Anastasia Beverly Hills Honey. This is a matte formula and one of the more drier mattes, but there's something about it that I really love. I love that I can wear this by itself and it's gonna be super matte, but I also can wear a gloss on top of this and it's not gonna move around. And that's it right there. So less peachy than what Sable Smoke is. That one probably leans a little bit more on the neutral side. And this one is MAC Yash. I have gone through so, this is probably my most used lipstick of all time, like the one that I've gone through more than any other lipstick. And this again is a matte formula, but not as dry as the Anastasia formula. You can see it there. It has more of that peaky peak, peaky, <laughs> peak, why am I saying peak? Pinky peach color to it, it's gorgeous. That's one of my favorite just go-tos. Like I know it's gonna work with no matter what eye look or face makeup that I am wearing. Next up, I have this one on right now. This one, again, is from MAC. This is their Lip Tensity Formula. Very pigmented, super comfortable, and it's like this gel type formula. It does not dry out your lips, but you get the entire amount of pigment there. That's this one here. If I want a shiny lipstick that's going to have that amount of pigmentation and not need a gloss, the Lip Tensity Formula is where it's at. And this bad boy right here, just, just look at your stab somebody. This one's from Hourglass. I am about to run out of this one as well. I am going to need, <laughs> I'm gonna need another refill. That's one of the nice things about this is that you can just refill these instead of buying the entire thing so it doesn't cost as much. But let's be real, for the amount of products you get, this is a pricey item. And the shade is I'll Never Stop. And that's there. That shade looks like a perfect cross of dough and yash and like the formula kind of mixed together as well. It has a little bit of a sheen to it when you first put it on and I don't feel like it ever goes to a true matte. It kind of stays as a satin kind of feel. Now I'm gonna go into my more like neutral, mauve pinkish kind of nudes. <laughs> the first one is Pat McGrath, and this is Donatella. This is the Luxe formula. Now I like her matte formula, but I prefer the Luxe one. It's kind of like, it's a satin, very pigmented, feels nice on the lips, very creamy, and that is what that one looks like. That one's a nice pinky nude. Bite Beauty Honeycomb. This formula is one of my all time favorite formulas and I've had this for over a year and it still has not gone bad. And this is like food grade material or ingredients in here and I'm surprised that it has lasted this long, but I'm not mad at it, it's very, very good. So Bite Beauty Honeycomb. That one has a little bit of both the pink and peach in there as well. Again, this works with almost anything. But if you're looking for a super comfortable formula, this one right here. Now this next one I almost didn't include because I felt like I was cheating a little bit. I have not worn this in a while, but there's a reason for it. I went back and watched my last favorite nudes, <laughs> so funny, favorite nude lip products video. 
And this was in there and I had completely forgotten about it, but the reason is because when I moved from that space to here, my lip products moved several times. So this got put in a drawer, out of sight, out of mind. It used to be in one of these little lipstick spinning things. But I did away with one of them because I felt like it was cheap and my lipsticks kept falling out of it. It was really annoying and this was in there. So I love this lipstick. I feel like it should be in this video. So here it is. And this is from Maybelline. It is Truffle Teas. If you want an inexpensive, Amazing formula, beautiful color. This is it right here. I had this in my purse for the longest time. Again, it wasn't until I moved areas that I just forgot about it, but this is so pretty. It is going to be a perfect nude for a lot of people. It is very neutral. On me, it does not lean too brown, too pink, too peachy. It's just right on the line. It's perfect. This is a new love from Tom Ford. This is the Ultra Shine Lipstick, and this is in the shade Bare. You guys have seen this very recently on my channel. It's got pigmentation without it being too much. Again, if you wear this with a lip liner, it's just so nice. It's comfortable, it has a nice sheen to it. It's beautiful. This is one of the lightest ones that I have that are in my favorites. This one from Dior was on my lips almost every day for a hot minute and I still grab for it. This is Incognito. I know some of you guys were shocked that it wasn't in my yearly favorites, but again, I had to like shrink things down. In this video, I shrunk it down, but I'm not going to skip Incognito this time. That's it here. So you can see it's a little bit more pink than Bare from Tom Ford and just a little bit darker as well. Now for my favorite liquid lipsticks. I need to tell you guys before we get into this, I am not one of those girls that like a super matte, non-transferring, non-moving liquid lipstick. I prefer a moussier texture or one that's not as drying and typically, I don't wear liquid lipsticks a whole lot. There's just a few that I really love, so I've narrowed it down to four. The first one is from Dior. This is Jungle. I love this formula so much. It's very moussey. Again, not transfer proof. It does not dry really all the way down, but I love that because it makes it very comfortable, but it's still very long wearing. This one is a nice brown. Eh, pinky brown, but more brown than pink. Buxom Va Va Plump in Taupe It Off. This is technically a liquid lipstick, but it is a shiny liquid lipstick. So it's basically what I like to do with most liquid lipsticks that aren't the moussey kind of texture. It's like I like to put a gloss on top. This does it all for you. Again, very long wearing, not transfer proof. It does have like that minty kind of tingle to it, but it does not plump my lips. I do not find it to be irritating at all, but if you don't like that sensation, you will not like this. It's funny, I got this color and I thought I'm never going to wear it and I bought another warmer tone one and no, I wear this one all the time. YSL Tattooish Couture number seven. <sighs> this is so good. This is what I want every liquid lipstick to be. Now this one is, it does dry down to pretty much is not going to move, but it's very thin. I don't, it feels like nothing on the lips, absolutely nothing. I can put a gloss on top of this without it kind of like bunching up. It's just perfect. And the applicator on this, if every liquid lipstick had this applicator, I would be so happy because I can get a perfect line. I don't need a liner. It's so good. But the only thing I don't like about this is it kind of smells like beer. I, I don't drink uh, I drink like twice a year, that's it. <laughs> it's this, this is the most pink one that I own. But the smell of this, it just reminds me of someone who just had a beer and then are talking to you. It doesn't bother me, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> and last but not least, I love this formula. This is from Sephora. This is number 33, the cream lip stain. This one is pretty dry, but it doesn't dry out my lips, and I adore this color. That color, though, oh, I love it so much, and I especially love this with a nude gloss on top. It's just utter perfection. 
moving right along to glosses. I've really, really gotten into glosses this year. The first one is from Dior. This is the Lip Maximizer. This feels so amazing on your lips. Again, it has a little bit of that tingly without it being too much. It is not, it's barely there at all, at least in my opinion. And this shade is number 006. This is the lightest of the glosses that I have. Like it's almost no color. It's just a very slight pink to it. It's kind of in between a baby pink and a nude pink. This is the gloss that I have on my lips right now. This is Smith & Colt Milk for Honey. Oh my gosh, if you have not tried out this formula, you need to. It has a nice thickness to it without it being too thick. It's not sticky, but then it's not so slippery that it feels like it's going to come off your lips. And this color is everything. Oh, it's so pretty. And it has a nice like vanilla smell to it. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this one so, so, so much. And then the packaging is very like chic, elegant. I just love it. Next is the Balm Snap. This is one that I actually like to wear by itself. It has enough pigmentation without it being too much, and it doesn't go outside my lip lines or anything like that. It's beautiful. There's only one con to this, and that's that you don't get a lot on the doe foot, so you have to keep on going into the product and getting back on your lips. But I love the color. This smells kind of like, kind of like Jolly Ranchers, kind of like the YSL one, but maybe a little bit more intense. And this is the shade right here. It's such a good nude. Again, this one is not too pink. It's not peachy at all. It's just nude. And I had to put this one in here. I keep this in my purse almost all the time. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. I love this, and I didn't really think I would. It has a really nice large applicator, so one dip in here and I can get all over my lips. Usually I just use this by itself when I'm wearing just not a lot of makeup and or I just want to put something on real quick that's going to give a tint but not too much. And that's it right there. It has tiny little shimmers in it but not, not glittery. And this is the darkest gloss I have. This is number 716 Caramel from Chanel. They redid their Glossomers this year and they have this new gloss. I personally love it. Some people like the stickier formula. I prefer this one, and I love the applicator. This is the best applicator ever. It has like a little curve to it. It's rounded. It's perfect for the lips, and I would have put in 714. I think it's Carrie's. That one is like my ride or die, but it's limited edition. I thought it was going to be permanent, but this is great over a lot of lipsticks for me. I don't wear it by itself a ton, but I love wearing it over things. And last, but certainly not least, you guys know I'm a ride or die fan of this. It's number 20 gloss from YSL. This is my baby. This is everything to me. And it doesn't even have a ton of pigmentation to it. It's just a perfect light nude color. I love the way it feels on my lips. I love that it goes over basically everything. It's my baby. It's my boo thing. Lip liners. I'm going to start off with my absolute favorite. This is the one that I go to the most. Pretty much I can do without any other color as long as I have this one right here. <laughs> this is Chanel number 34 Natural. Very long wearing lip pencil. You have to make sure that you keep your tops on them so that they don't dry out. I've never had any of mine dry out, but I have heard people talk about it. <sighs> this color, this color though, it is so good. It looks pink on my hand, and even when I put it on, but honestly, this works for every lipstick that I own. I love it so much, and again, it wears so well, like it does not move. My lipstick is going to come off before this does. Next up, MAC Spice Lip Liner. I love MAC Lip Liners. You know, they just work. And I'm talking about the pencil ones. I do like the Pro Longwear ones as well, but I do have a little bit more issue with those drying out. There's one in my favorites, but pretty much that's the only one that I keep because I love the color so much. I prefer the wooden ones. And then the Spice, it is like an, it's, it's spicy. <laughs> it has an orangey peach tint to it. It can be too dark on me if I just keep on going around like I like to do and perfect my liner. So this one I tend to use with a 
darker nude. And then the one pro long wear is etc. You can see like I'm almost out of this one. <laughs> this is so good because it's so peachy brown. I just love it. And again, this one will last on your lips all day long. I actually really like to use this as a lipstick as well. So I'll line and then fill it in. It's a beautiful color. It works really well with Yash if you want to deepen it up a little bit. And even Sable Smoke. It looks amazing with Sable Smoke. But the peachy brown one that I tend to go for the most is definitely stripped down from MAC. Again, one of the wood ones. This is a brown has a slight peach to it, but again, this one works really well with pretty much anything that's not pink. If it's pink, like a pink nude, you're gonna be able to see that right around the edge, but everything else it works really nice with. Oak, again, MAC, <laughs> you can see a trend here. This is the lightest one I have, and for some reason on my lips, probably because it's so close to my lip color, I have to really go over to be able to see where I put this color, but if I'm wearing a lighter nude that I don't want to deepen up, this is a really nice one to go for. And then the very last one is from The Balm. This is the pickup liner in the shade I Really Dig You. If you like a twist up liner, you will love this. And again, very long wearing. This is such a good, 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 good nude. It's not too peachy, it's not too mauvey, mauvey. <laughs> it's just right in between. And again, I really like to use this as a lipstick as well and pop a gloss on top and I'm ready to go. All right, you guys, that is it for all my favorite nudes. Let me know down below what are your favorites or are any of my favorites also your favorites? And then if you are wondering if I filmed this makeup look, I did. It's already up. I will have a link down below, so check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.